So, got this uh, Magellan uh, GPS 300 satellite navigator to garage sale. It says $5 on it. Um, they were made in 1996, 1995, I believe. Uh, still got the batteries in it. I just installed the batteries. And uh, it says super sensitive antenna for superior tracking. Steering screen points you the right direction, scrolls you through three, easy to follow navigation screen, easily mark a position, wrap around rubber armoring for secure grip in any weather, rocker keypad for quickly naming and selecting landmarks, easy to read, display with backlight, takes you quickly and easily to any 100 user stored landmarks, displays landmark, um, setup time and battery gauge menu. Uh, key guards ensure receiver does not turn on accidentally. And um, it says it run about 24 hours on two AA batteries. Um, when I first got it, the guy said it stopped working. And when you read through the manual, it really doesn't tell you too much about it besides how to uh, do your waypoints and stuff. So when you first turn it on, it says Magellan GPS. And you'll notice this is where I'm at right now, uh, 42. Uh, 26.91 and 74.55.15 and this little arrow will go around and it comes up pretty quick that it's found one satellite and I was out here for probably an hour turning it on, turning it off, removing the batteries and if you notice as it's going around it's checking different degrees for your satellite okay um, I found the best thing to do with these older models, they do work, you just have to set them someplace where it's a good open sky, um, and make sure that uh, double click menu says uh, press enter to create, uh, gives you your time, elevation, battery, meter, uh, setup, press enter to change, you hit enter, coordinate system, make sure it's on degrees and minutes, uh, at least for the United States, click enter again, uh, map datum, uh, WG584 is what you're going to want unless you're in Europe and something. You can change these. Uh, units is miles per hour unless you want kilometers. I got it on 12 hour time. Um, right now it's 4.40 p.m. Magnetic North um, reference point. You put it true north. And it says press enter for easy startup. Uh, you want USA and I got it set to uh, New York because I'm in New York and it gives you a drop down. Then you just hit navigate and it brings you back up to screen. And this is actually the antenna, this big thing here. And you want it pretty much straight up and down to find satellites. See, we found two satellites now. It's going to take three to triangulate. And I let this thing set out on my back lawn in wide open field um, so I could see pretty much the whole sky. And it took probably, uh, I'd say, an hour and a half, two hours. I did find five satellites and updated where I'm at. Because when this first started, it was just 42000, and I believe it was 85 there. And so I really had to hunt for the satellites. Once it finds the satellites, and it'll reprogram, because it's got to download all this information. Because as you notice, there is no ports on this unit for downloading anything. This is for an auxiliary power source. Okay, the batteries are in the back here. And this is kind of neat because if you notice the plus is here and the plus is here, both springs are at the bottom. So if you do buy one of these, batteries go in plus side towards the spring, which is highly unusual. Okay, and uh, it says that the batteries will last 24 hours on on. Okay, and since I was moving it around, messing around, I went back to one satellite. But once you get three satellites here, you can hit nav again, and it'll actually tell you your bearing, uh, distance from your waypoints, which way you're headed, how fast you're moving, and uh, you know that's when the instructions in the book do take over. So these are still a functional unit. They're a little slow. Uh, they're probably about the cheapest GPS unit you could buy in 1996, which was still probably pretty expensive at the time. And they do work. They're fun for geocaching and stuff like that. And hopefully, if you do have one, um, you just uh, give it a try. Like I said, set it out in the field. If you can't get it within a couple of hours, take the battery out, plug it back in. Once you get it to recognize one satellite within the first couple of minutes, Set it so the antenna is straight up and down. 
Okay, so it's going to be in that position because it's looking all four sides for your satellites to figure out its position and then just give it a couple hours for it to download. You know, just forget about it. I know being uh, new toys and stuff, I had a hard time not keeping checking it, but uh, I actually had this number up to five satellites. So, um, there you go. If you have any questions, uh, contact me. And if not, uh, you, know, you can email me, whatever. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. Have a great day.